Hello everyone, it is Saturday, right here on Let's Talk in English. We're on PTS and the radio. My name's Andrea. And my name is Gabe, and it has been a nice week. It's been an interesting week in Hualien. Yes, we went to Hualien again with Patty and her family, and she had some great adventures outside as we learned about the outdoors. Outdoors and nature. And you know what? I like learning about the outdoors and nature. And if you missed some of this week's lessons, then today is a great chance for you to see them. And it's also a great chance to review everything that we've learned. We went to Hualien to a special place called Taroko Gorge to learn about nature's and the outdoors. And you know what? Patty also took a lot of pictures while she was there. They had a great time, and really, it is a beautiful place. It is. They had a great time. They went on many hikes. They hiked on many of the trails at Taroko Gorge. Well, you know what else we got to learn about this week? A new song. It's called "It's Up to You." And this is a pretty cool song. That is true, and we're going to review that as well. And of course. The best way to review is to sing along. Gabe, will you sing along? Well, it's up to me, isn't it? If I want to sing along, it's up to you. Okay, I think I will. All right. Well, friends, it's up to you. Listen carefully to our review and see how much you can remember and understand. Here we go. Conversation replay. Here we are. This is the entrance to Taroko Gorge. What a pretty gate! Let's take some pictures. Okay. Everyone, stand over there. Great. Now let's see the gorge. Okay. Get in the car. Tell me more about the gorge. What can we do here? We can do lots of things. We can hike to some waterfalls. Okay. There are some easy trails and some hard trails. Let's hike on the easy trails. One trail is not far from here. It goes to the Eternal Spring Shrine. Can we hike that trail? Is it an easy trail? Sure. Let's go. Water. The shrine is over a waterfall. That's cool. I like this place. It is so peaceful. Me too. Brian, what does Taroko mean? It means beautiful in the Amis language. That's a good name for this place. Dear Journal, today I went to Taroko Gorge with Grandma, Roger, and Brian. What a beautiful place! The gorge walls are so steep. The gorge is part of Taiwan's Cross Island Highway. Workers built this highway in the 1950s. Hundreds of workers died building it. I saw their names at the Eternal Spring Shrine. Lots of people visit Taroko Gorge. It's a very popular place. Taroko is the largest marble gorge in the world. 
The road through it is next to the Wu River. It's so pretty. I loved looking up at the gorge walls and then down into the river. I really liked the Tunnel of Nine Turns. Some parts of the tunnel are open. You can look down at the river. And in some places, the gorge is really narrow. You can't see the sky. The mountains around here are really beautiful. They are so different from the mountains at home in Colorado. Mountains here are not as high and they have a lot more trees. Tonight, we are staying in a hotel in the gorge. Tomorrow, we'll hike more and visit another waterfall. Brian told me about so many beautiful places here. I want to see them all. I already love Taroko Gorge. The Taroko Traveler, Patty. Good morning, Patty. Did you sleep well? Oh, yes. I'm ready for another hike. Which waterfall are we going to see? Grandma wants to hike to Bai Young Waterfall. Is that a long hike? No, but you begin the hike with a walk through a tunnel. Fun! Where are Brian and Grandma? They're still eating breakfast. Brian is a slow eater. We're here! How many manto did you eat, Brian? Only four! That's a lot! Well, let's go. Okay, we'll drive about 300 meters. Then we walk through a long tunnel. Are there lights in the tunnel? No, we'll walk in the dark. It will be an adventure. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, Patty. I brought flashlights. <laughs> Patty, Grandma, Roger, and Brian walk to the Bai Young Waterfall Trail. They walk into the long tunnel and then out the other side. They walk along the trail and look at the beautiful views. Patty takes lots of pictures. Soon they can see the falls. They walk across a suspension bridge. Patty doesn't like the bridge at all. It sways too much. What are we going to do now? We'll take another hike. Are you tired of hiking yet? Oh no, I love to hike. I love mountain scenery. Then let's hike the Mystery Valley Trail. The scenery is very pretty there. It's also an easy hike. But that trail is now called Saka Dang Trail. Oh, that's right. The name changed. Well, get in the car. We need to drive to the trailhead. The scenery is pretty here, Grandma. Look at those big striped rocks in the river. I'm hot. Let's go swimming. No, sorry. Swimming here is too dangerous. On the way back, we'll stop at the Bridge of Motherly Devotion. We can go down to the river there and put our feet in the water. That's a strange name for a bridge. Maybe. But it's beautiful.
Well, I've seen enough scenery for one day. Let's go to the bridge. All right, but let me take one more picture. Everyone stand right there. that girl want? She looks upset. She's yelling for help. Please help me. What's wrong? That boy just stole my camera. Stop him. He's getting away with my camera. I'll get him. What happened? I had my camera out. I took some pictures of those big rocks. Then I saw that boy coming toward me. And what did he do? He pushed me down into the dirt. Then he took my camera. That's terrible. Please get my camera back for me. We'll try. By the way, I really like your pants. Thanks. They're nice, aren't they? Mmm. And clean. Do you hike here often? No, I just came here from Taipei. The views here are beautiful. He says this is his camera. It's not. It's my camera. Who is telling the truth? I know. I can't believe that girl lied to us. She thought she could fool us. She fooled me. Not me. She said she fell in the dirt, but her pants were spotless. She was really upset when you told her that. She was, but I hope she learned her lesson. Me too. Now let's go wade in the river. And then have a nice dinner. Song time. It's time for word power. This week we're going hiking. Let's get ready. When you go hiking, wear good shoes. That's important. You need to take care of your feet. Some people wear special shoes just for hiking. Shoes. Shoes. When you hike, you might want to carry a backpack. A pack 
is another word for bag. So a backpack is a bag you carry on your back. Backpack. Backpack. When you hike, take water with you. Put your water in a water bottle. Then you can drink water on your hike. Water bottle. Water bottle. Hiking is a lot of work. You might get hungry on your hike. Bring a snack. Then take a break to enjoy the views, and enjoy your snack. 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 Some people use a walking stick when they hike. A walking stick helps you while you hike. Walking stick. Walking stick. All right, let's go. Remember all these words when you talk about hiking, and you'll have word power. Word power. That was a great word power about hiking. Hey, Gabe,、What? do you want to go hiking with me this weekend? Well, can I bring my backpack? Well, it's up to you. Okay, so I guess I will if I can bring my backpack. Yes, you can. Good plan. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today on Saturday, right here on Let's Talk in English on PTS and of course on the radio. And come back next week. We have a new week of fun things to learn together. Goodbye. Bye, everybody.